So a report been- came out that Ayuk, he was obviously holding out also, and that they put two options on the table for him: sign the contract or we're going to trade you to Pittsburgh. And they and then it came down to a decision day. He opted to sign the contract that had been on the table the whole time. I heard from a little birdie. He was gonna get. He's gonna be the highest paid receiver. And then he didn't want to go to the Browns. I heard the Browns are gonna make him the highest paid wide receiver. That's what I heard. But he really wanted San San Fran the whole time. Right. So, so he was negotiating, he trying was to cooked. get the most money from San Fran. Yeah. So he, yeah. And they he called his bluff. They called his bluff, and did seem to work. It's not like he didn't get paid, but yeah, yeah, he got it. He, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a. I'm not gonna put people's business out there, but there's yeah, yeah. So, um, all right, my last question: Do you think Jamar played to make a point? Like he goes off for 120 and two touchdowns, hypothetically, and then he's like. Now I'm really. Oh, that was his stat line. No, 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 he didn't ball out. That's what I'm wondering. Do you think there was a world where he was like, "All right, I'm gonna play, show them what they have, and then sit," because that would really put pressure on on the team. I mean, it's still May. They're on one. They're going to Kansas City. Well, I mean, I think he's, he's a little. Out. He's a little early though, isn't he early? Like for his extension? Yeah. Yeah. But this is what they're all doing. Is this is third year. No, this is fourth year. I think this is fourth. But they're all trying to get these extensions the the extra year early. If I'm being completely honest, it's hard for me to put my wrap my head around anybody on the offense. <laughs> like everyone that does all this stuff is always offensive players, really, except Hassan Reddick. I don't know what he's on. <laughs> he's just tripping. Like, what is his plan? It sounds like they are just straight up not all these other situations. They, they always work out. They're probably going to pay you there. Yeah, we're close. We're a million away. We're two million. I saw Reddick. They seem like they're like, we ain't paying you. So I don't know what he's about to do because he's already, I heard, he think he's already at four. Isn't he already at like, he's at millions. Yeah. So I don't really know what his deal is. I think it's crazy to do a presser and then not play. Play for the team. For the team. <laughs> like, if you were felt like that, I would have never done that. I saw someone say that there's a thing that the team can give you a five-day notice and then you can't play for the whole season. Do you know about this? They said they were going to do that with Ayuk. Five-day notice? Yeah. Like, they could tell Reddick, like, all right, if you're not going to play. do they have to, And they don't have to pay you. I guess not. Like, that's the thing. I'm, like, hypothetically saying what I would do, but, like, all these, these never really happen with deep defensive Players. Yeah. So it's like they're, I mean, obviously people do not come to any stadium to see me get an interception or a PBU. Honestly, that's just the reality. They want to see, whoa, touchdown. Whoa. Our fans, you get a PBU in training camp, they'd be like, this dude here. I'd be like, <laughs> all right, okay. So why is he trying so hard? Like, bro, like, let him catch so it's hard, but they really do have all the power. Essentially, <laughs> what would happen if you went up to EDC tomorrow practice? Like, I'm holding out, extend me right now. Like, I don't even think he'd take me serious. Like, he'd be like, What are you talking about? Holding what? What are you talking about? For what? Like, what are you talking about? What's going on? He'd be like, What are you talking about? He actually would probably just start laughing because it just doesn't really. I'm trying to think who was the last defensive player to, I guess, Reddit. Chris, Chris Jones last. Oh, yeah, year. Chris Jones. Oh, he was he was sitting in the stands, he was wilding. <laughs> He was he was he, he was wild. Okay, he's kind of got personality of an offensive player. Yeah, he does yeah. have. He yeah. he's got that diva in his cup. Yeah. He's got that diva in his cup. Okay, so he, <laughs> he did. Was, was he drinking beers at the game? Dude, he was sitting in th- that crap. Was actually hilarious. See, that's some crap that'll piss that'll piss the team off though. Wait, was that? Yeah, yeah but at this point, he's he can kind of do it. Imagine he was in after the suite with beat, Taylor Swift last year opening night. Like, yeah, after how he beat. And they lost, and then they paid him. I'm telling you, maybe there's maybe there's something, bro. That dude's a pretty good player. I mean, I mean, Roger Rosengarten. Yeah, that's that's his name, right? Yeah. Frick, sorry, it's the first time I've ever said it out loud. That's a tough time to go up for your first NFL game ever. Big time. Like crap. That, but yeah, that dude be balling. And and Falele, that was like his first start. Yeah, that, yeah. That that that's rough. 
I thought that's, you were going to give us more defensive players who have held out. I know. I'm trying to think of more. Like, <laughs> maybe, it doesn't maybe happen. they are divas. It doesn't There's happen too, be, too like, often. Did Khalil Mack got traded. Um, Derwin James did a hold in. Yeah. But his hold did, in is the wildest thing ever. Like, I'm, I want the, more money, but I'm going to. Like, because you you're don't, not doing you that don't really get fined. Because, yeah, you're holding in. Yeah. And though some of those, his was like a, we're working on it. Like, we're really close. Right. Hassan Reddick, I just do not think he's going to get paid. No, they get- literally said like, yeah, I feel like they, yeah, I feel like they literally came out and maybe there's something. It's I not don't even know. like at a stalemate. They're just straight up. We yeah. don't want you, and I don't want. That is exactly how it seems. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. from what I've heard through the grapevine with Jamar is like they're pretty close. Yeah. Like clearly, I mean, they're clo- like wash. Clearly, they're pretty close. Like, but I just don't understand the Hassan thing. CBS ranked the. 12 ugliest holdouts. Le'Veon's got to be one. Le'Veon was up there, but Earl Thomas a- and the Seahawks in 2018 and Darrell and the Jets, Darrell Revis in 2010 were the two, like, big recent defensive players. Yeah, so, like, and that's, I mean, it's freaking Darrell Revis. Right. Like, there's literally, levels. Yeah, literally. <laughs> no yeah, offense, like, there's, yeah, yeah, there's major, yeah, like, yeah. so, offense, but it just happens literally, I mean, all yeah, the time. Yeah, like the 19th best wide receiver will hold out. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. How many holdouts? There was a lot this year. A ton. CD. I didn't know that. That didn't hold out at all. He didn't bro. hold out. He just let Jerry shit on him because I guess he knew he was still yeah, he's like, the bag. He's like. I feel like he don't even listen to Jerry at this point. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why Jerry says that type of stuff, though. Like, he'd crazy. be talking kind of crazy. Crazy. Crazy.